The days of needing a pneumatic one inch D-handle impact wrench for working on nasty, rusted semi-truck lugs are gone. Let me introduce you to Milwaukee Tools 2869-20, a one inch D-handle extended anvil impact wrench with one key. This dude's got some serious power with 2,000 foot-pounds of nut-busting torque and 1,900 foot-pounds of fastening torque. We put this to use changing out some steel wheels that really needed to be replaced to some aluminum ones. We also put it through some voltage tests to see what battery is actually perfect for it. Let's go through this guy top to bottom. Stay tuned. We're gonna start at the bottom of this tool. Milwaukee put a battery isolator down here that allows this battery to move while the tool is impacting. That's gonna put less stress on this battery and allow the tool and battery to live longer. This is a four mode impact wrench with one key. So we can Bluetooth to this on the phone. We don't have to do it all the time. We can just set things up the way we want to. We can adjust the RPM. We can adjust the RPM on and off. We can adjust different tasks. We can put lug nut control in here so we can put the lugs on from 375 to 425 foot pounds. There's a lot that you can do inside one key, but basically once you set it up, you can set it up for yourself and forget it, but you still have those four modes to come back to, or you can just use it as it is set up. It has a two finger trigger up on top, which is completely variable speed, zero to 1200 RPMs and zero to 1400 IPM. The trigger's awesome. Fully controllable. You can also adjust the trigger pull on the one key app. Forward in reverse is up top with the middle being a lockout. Very easy to use. The D handle is fully adjustable via this side area. You can move the D handle around, but once you loosen it up, you can move the, the handle forward, backwards, side to side around this unit, and it'll also ratchet wherever you need it. Very nice and easy to set up for however you're gonna use this tool. The lights up front are super bright. And as you can see from our use, they light up the inside of a wheel very well. They come on and off with the trigger. And again, that is adjustable inside one key. As far as the user experience goes with the Milwaukee M18 one inch, you're gonna find that it has the same ugga duggas or the same quickness in actually loosening that bolt as a pneumatic. What it lacks a little bit is the speed of taking the bolt off. So from the point where it's loose and it's coming out, the 1200 RPMs feels slightly slower than what you might get out of a high-end pneumatic. Other than that, this thing actually works wonderful. The one key portion when you're putting a lug nut back on, especially with aluminum rims, and you wanna get something tight and to the point where we can actually make sure that it's on good with an, a torque wrench, this is perfect. The unit shuts down at the lug nut control model, allows you a little bit to make sure that you're getting everything to that point and not over torquing. It's something that I can't say enough about the Milwaukee one key system. Once you set it up for that lug nut control, it is spot on and ready to go. This thing performed flawlessly and was very easy on the battery. That was one thing I was concerned about. We were using the Milwaukee 12 amp hour battery and I wanted to do a quick test because this is sold as a bare tool to see what battery would actually work well. This test mimics you pounding or hammering on a lug nut that is not coming off. And the five amp hour battery in this really takes a dip where the six amp hour is keeping you in the 16s. Same with the eight amp hour, it's really right there in the 16 volt range. The 12 amp hour is where it's at with this tool where it's keeping you in that 17 volt range. And that's gonna keep this tool happy giving you the power all the way through all those longer tasks. So if you buy this tool, which is currently 799 MSRP, make sure you spend that extra cash and couple this with a 12 amp hour battery. That's gonna definitely make you the happiest. If you drop down to the six and eight, I can see where you could use it. It's not gonna probably give you the peak performance and definitely is not gonna have the runtime but do not drop below those high output batteries because this tool needs every bit of it. 
While this one inch impact wrench does want to have a large battery connected to it, it does free you from that air hose. And if you're in service, if you have a small business or a small excavating company, any kind of business where you might have to get out on the road and take care of something that broke, knowing that you have the right tools with you at all times is very important. If you don't want to have a large air compressor that can run some of these tools on that truck, this is definitely something that's going to save you. It's going to allow you to get into places where you might not have been able to get your truck, get something repaired and get out. That is huge in having the ability to use this in the shop because of the battery runtime and outside the shop also is a huge benefit. I think that's one of the things that Milwaukee put in here is the ability to have things set up so that you knew that you weren't over torquing out in the field, that you knew that you had the power to get anything off that was out there and you could fix things, come back to the shop, continue using the tool. Whether your business is large or small, if you have the need for a one inch impact wrench, this Milwaukee tool has you covered and will give you the confidence to be able to perform whatever maintenance you need to in the field or in the shop and allow you to get back to making money. A lot of businesses are going to be looking at this tool and for good reason. If you have any questions, please leave them below. We always appreciate your time watching our videos. Please give us a like on this one. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again. Have a great day.